गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द प्लेकोडर्म्स प्लेकोडर्म्स द एक्सटिंक्ट प्लेटेड स्किन फिशेस फिशेस विद द प्लेट लाइक एक्सोस्केलेटन प्लेकोडर्म वर्ड इज मेड अप ऑफ टू ग्रीक वर्ड्स प्लेका प्लेका मींस प्लेट लाइक स्ट्रक्चर डर्मिस मींस स्किन द दोस फिशेस व्हिच हैव प्लेट लाइक स्किन प्लेट लाइक स्केल्स ऑन देयर बॉडी Placoderms are first fishes uh, having the dermal plates like exoskeleton on their body, and earliest jawed vertebrates that are that is uh, or the gnathostomes. They appeared in Silurian, flourished in Devonian and Carboniferous, and became extinct in Permian period. Occurrence of placodermy is in Silurian period 450 million years ago as the astrocoderm were disappearing a host or most efficient jawed fish appeared on this earth these are the two separate classes uh, placodermy and acanthodai according to taxonomists these classes are placed lower to uh, the chondrichthys in the evolutionary scale and the acanthodian were freshwater uh superficial uh, shark like fishes usually they had elongated fishy form body almost eel like their body were covered with a diamond shaped scales a common fossil uh, genus clematis was found in 8 cm long between the larger pectoral and pelvic fin they had extra smaller paired fin some of which are in form of stout spine hence the name is spiny shark some of them had true teeth especially on the lower jaw and the acanthodian survived into earlier permian before they became extinct these are some placoderms which have the plate like scales on their body pandirichthys cladosalaki holo holoptychus and uh, cephalaspis and uh, these are some placodon structure this is the uh, geological time scale in which uh, this is the red one is the devonian period the placodon originated in the silurian period and uh, flourished in the devonian period and extinct in carboniferous period is in the geological time scale jawless uh, between this is between the jawless vertebrate and shark These are the Denicthys fish of uh, Placoderm, Silurian period. Tenicthyroids, Tenicthyroids is the plan, another Placoderm which have the plate-like structure on their body. And uh, Placodermy, they probably lived in the both in the fresh water as well as in sea water. Some primitive agnats or Stercoderms were the ancestors of Placoderms. but their fossil record does not exhibit any connecting link between the jawless and jawed fishes like ostrichodons the jawed fishes were also appeared fully formed without the intermediates fossils evidence for the ancestry of placodermy simply does not exist features of placodons the placodons possess the heavy defensive armor of the bony plates with the powerful jaws and efficient fins first one is the bony armor bony armor is the characteristic feature of placodermy the name placodermy means the armored fish plate skinned or this is made up of greek word placos and dermos placos means plates dermos means skin some of the particular uh, dentulosteus exhibit a heavy armor of bony plates over the head and the anterior part of the trunk while the rest of the body was nearly naked and jaws the jaws are supposed to have originated from the first pair of gill bar mandibular arch in front of the first gill slits higher arch remain unmodified and did not support the jaws this type of primitive jaw suspension is called aphytophyridian type uh, jaw suspension the placoderm jaw is autostylic and that is it is articulated by its own processes in the cranium no placoderm had ever developed teeth on the modern type as did the acanthodian fish Thre- third one is the paired fins most of the placoderm possess the paired fins in an aquatic environment the development of a strong mobile fin was coincident with the evolution of jaws 
for swimming faster. Classification of plaquedermy: Verg 1940, Romer 1959. Forwarded detailed classification of the fish, which have been generally accepted. They classified into the three orders: Terechthys, Cocostae, and Acanthodae. The example of Terechthys is Terechthys, both Riolapis and Cocostius or Orthrodira. In other words, it's also called as Orthrodira. A Cocostius and Dunculostius and Denethys are the examples of Cocostia. <coughs> and the Acanthodius and Clematius are the examples of Acanthodae class. Biological significance of Placoderms. Placoderms were earliest known fossil jawed vertebrates or gnathostomes. They appeared in the Silurian and flourished in the Devonian and Carboniferous and became extinct in Permian. Their bony armor linked them genetically with the predecessors, the Ostracoderms, which mean, it means the Placoderms are originated from the Ostracoderms. Due to the presence of uh, bony jaws and paired fins, they were specialized in the Ostracoderms. A new era in the history of fishes started with the advent of jaws. Advent of jaws or origin of jaws is in is a drastic change in the history of evolution of animals. Professor A. S. Romer in his book The Vertebrate Body recalled that the, perhaps the greatest of all advances in the vertebrate history was the development of jaws and the consequently revolution in the mode of life in early phases. This is all about placoderms. Thank you. Thank you very much.